Another thing to do to protect yourself and build your fortress is to connect with your divine team and ask them for help. Uh, in the Raise Your Vibration course, the, it's called Unleash Your Spirit. I talk about connecting to spirit guides, fey, ancestors, ETs, others, whoever you run into. But one of the things to do is to build that divine team. Now, I call it a divine team. It is simply a team of beings who I consider friends and family. Some of them are guides. Some of them are angels. Some of them are ETs. Some of them are Sasquatches. Fae. They can be anything. Any being that you have a friendship with that when you are in need is willing to help you. And you will find that when you are in need, they are willing to help you without even being asked. I once had an issue with my apartment where there was an energetic attack on it. And I had called, I was working with two very powerful large angels, um, not archangels. They were, um, I, the, the word they always have me use is lesser angels, but not lesser in the sense of Un invaluable they're extremely valuable just not the level of archangel so uh they were here oh, there was an energetic attack i called on you know my angels of the four corners i called on my energy protections and different things but then i found out uh, as it was happening out i was sitting there and suddenly i felt my friend hito which is a sas who is a sasquatch and he was down by the river and i could see him and three of the others doing a ritual. And I was like, what are you doing? And they just went, hold on a second. And all of a sudden a tulpa appeared, like shot, like energy shot out of their hands from the ritual they were doing, dropped into my apartment and a Sasquatch tulpa appeared that was almost as high as the ceiling. I mean, I've got eight, I don't know what these ceilings are, probably at least eight foot, maybe a little bit higher huge sasquatch drops in and i'm just like oh my god and i could like see like this energy was standing right by this door actually there was something trying to get in through here and when that happened even the angels i worked with stepped back kind of in shock like wow did that just happen and my sasquatch friends had sent me energy to help me defend the apartment energetically now a tulpa is a thought form it's just something that we create with energy we're able to use our energy to create and program it into existence to do something and with them they did a ritual to create a version of themselves energetically that was programmed to protect this apartment and would only last a few hours as long as was needed and it, I watched it fade away it was very interesting to, to see it just kind of fizzle as the energy started to um, you know uh, fizzle is the only word I can can think of but fade it just fades away slowly uh, but he dropped in he protected that door and kept kept the thing back that was trying to get in uh, and then others during that that event, um, you know, I had other beings come to my aid too, and it really gave me the um, confirmation of how important it is to build your divine team, to connect with your guides, to connect with different realms of beings. I have a dragon here that protects me all the time uh, and helps me out with beings in their energetic realm that they can uh, keep away and that sort of thing. Uh, doing this work is not about doing it yourself. It's about building friendships with these realms, building friendships with other beings, because when you are in need, even if it's not protection, it could be healing, it could be luck, it could be personal relationships, it could be simple guidance to, on your day-to-day -day life. Your divine team is one of your most powerful tools because they are there to help you. They are your friends and family, and they will uh, lend their aid without, um, without expectation of return in the moments that you need it. They are true friends and family, those that if you need something, you can ask, and they'll do it 
just like that because they have a relationship with you. So work on building that divine team. There's more info on that in the Unleash Your Spirit course, but just keep that in mind as you do this work. Work with your spirit guides, build friendships, work with your ancestors, work with angels, work with other realms too, not just the, those realms. It's important that you work with the realms of galactics and ETs and that sort of thing so you have their friendship as well uh, for beings of their worlds and that sort of thing. So keep that in mind as you go through these courses and programs just to continue building your relationships because that is really going to help you protect yourself too. It's like having allies, you know, if, if your fortress comes under attack and you can call for aid, they are your aid. So thank you for watching. I'm grateful for each and every one of you and I love you all.